Hey bro, welcome to my channel. When your computer encounters a blue screen of death or startup problems, your computer will launch the startup repair feature. If the computer problem is serious, startup repair will not be able to fix your PC. Don't know how to fix your computer? In this tutorial, I will share with you five solutions that will help you to fix startup repair couldn't repair your PC. I will show the detailed repair process. If this tutorial helped you to fix your PC, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. You need to click on Advanced Options in the Startup Repair screen. Then you have to select Troubleshoot and Advanced Options. All the features in this screen can be used to fix PC faults. Let's use the features here to try to fix your PC. Now let's try the first method. Uninstall the recent Windows updates. If your PC was updated with Windows during the last use, then it may be because the features of Windows Update are causing compatibility issues. This results in your PC not boot up then you need to uninstall the recently updated Windows. Here, you have to select the Uninstall Updates option. Windows updates are categorized into two options, Quality Updates and Feature Updates. A quality update fixes bugs or security issues that exist in the current system. It generally does not cause Windows to malfunction. So you need to select the second option to uninstall the latest feature update. Uninstalling Windows updates will not affect your personal files. Don't worry about your data loss. You need to click on the Uninstall Feature Update. Then wait for Windows Update uninstallation to complete and restore the previous version of Windows. Once done, your PC will boot up properly. If this method fails to fix your PC, then you need to try the next method. Method 2. Run Windows Restored If your computer has the system backup function turned on, some Windows system settings will also create a backup automatically. Then you can use this feature to perform Windows Restore. Click the System Restore option. You need to click Next in the System Recovery program. Then select the most recent time restore point in the list. Click Next. OK, here you can click Finish to execute the System Recovery program. The program will prompt you that once started, you cannot interrupt the System Restore. You need to make sure that the laptop is connected to the power cord. Click Yes. Oh, I'm showing an error here. Your PC screen will show Loading System Recovery. Once done, the PC will restart. Your computer will then be back in working order. If your computer repair fails, you can also try the third method. Method 3. Run the Command Prompt Repair command. You need to open the Advanced Options page again. Then you need to select the Command Prompt option. Here we need to run a couple of commands. I will put the commands used in the tutorial in the description below the video. Now type the first command. SFC space slash scan. Press Enter. This command will scan your Windows system and fix the errors in it. Wait for the progress to load and type the second command. CHKDSK space slash FC space C colon. Press the Enter key. This command will scan the system disk and fix the errors in it. Wait for the scan to complete and type the third command. Boot rec space slash fix MBR. This command fixes the system master boot record, then type the fourth command. Boot rest space slash fix boot. This command will fix the system boot problem. If it prompts access is denied, then you need to type this command. Boot sec space slash nt60 space sys. Okay, this solves the Windows system boot problem. Now you need to close the command prompt. Then click on the continue option to boot the Windows system. Check if your PC error is fixed. If your PC still won't boot, then you need to try the fourth method. Method 4. Repairing your computer in startup setting. You need to open the advanced options again. Then select the startup settings option. You need to click restart to access startup settings. Under the startup settings feature, you can try the seventh option. Disable driver signing enforcement. If you have drivers installed on your PC that are not signed by Microsoft, it may cause your PC to fail to boot. Try this method by pressing the number 7 key and check if your PC boots up properly. You can also try the 8th option. Disable early launch anti-malware protection. This feature may incorrectly prevent the driver from booting, causing your Windows system to fail to boot. Press the number 8 key to disable early launch anti-malware protection. Under startup settings, try these two options to repair your PC. If your PC is still not repairable, then I suggest you try the next method. Method 5. Repair PC with PassFab Fixuin. Thanks to PassFab Fixuin for sponsoring this video. 
If you don't want to try the tedious fixes ahead, using FixUin can help you solve your PC problems easily. After launching FixUin, just click Automated Repair. Wait for some time to finish fixing your PC problems. You can click the link in the description to get it. First, launch PassFab FixUin on your other accessible computer. You'll need to insert an empty 4GB or larger USB. Then you have to click Create Now and Continue. Wait for the ISO file to download and finish burning. Okay, the boot disk creation is complete. You need to check out the detailed tutorial. You can see here how to boot your computer, USB, and fix you in subsequent procedure. Okay, come to the computer that needs to be repaired. Insert the USB boot disk you just created into your computer. Then you need to click on Advanced Options. Select Use a Device. Then select USB Device. Okay, wait for Fix you when to start. You can then perform an automated repair function. Click it. Then you need to select the computer system disk and click Start Repair. FixUin's repair process takes 5 to 30 minutes, and you need to be patient. Okay, the automatic repair is completed. Then you need to click Restart twice to start your Windows system. This will allow you to complete your computer repair. Again, I recommend that you try PassFab FixUin to fix your PC. Well, this is all about solving the problem of startup repair couldn't repair your PC. I hope my tutorial will help you to fix your windows. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and I will post more videos about fixing your computer. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Let's see you in the next video.